everybody knows and loves the UMX Radian. It's gotta be one of the best little park flyers, and for most people, probably their first airplane ever. This thing is a legend, it's been around for a long time, and even those that have moved beyond this on their flight skill level, a lot of guys still have theirs. And if you don't have one, now's your chance, because they just remade this from the ground up. Now it's even easier to fly with safe technology. Now this plane was already really easy to fly. I don't know how badly it needed safe technology, but it's here. And so now we've got probably the world's best UMX beginner airplane. I mean, it just got better. I haven't flown it, but based on everybody's experiences with the UMX Radian, the original, I have a very good feeling about this. And I was talking to Abby about the price. I said, Abby, if you had to guess, how much would this airplane be? I said $150. I said that's a pretty good guess for a UMX airplane with safe technology and it's new and you know, prices are going up and stuff. That's a good guess. The good news is it's $99. Well, that's good because 150 was my high guess. That's great news. I'm yeah. glad to hear it's under 100. That makes me happy. Me too. This flies on 1S batteries and we'll have them linked in the description box below. They're $6 each. You can't beat that. They'll be linked down there beside this airplane. Plus oh. a multi 1S charger. Yeah, and so if you want a good charger, you might spend about 40 bucks or so. So really, for the kit and caboodle to get everything in the air, maybe $150, but I have some other good news alternatives in today's video. I'm not even gonna fly this. This is what I would hope to be like a fan service type of video. I'm gonna show you guys to the beginner because the person that's gonna buy this is most likely the beginner that has never flown anything before, knowing that it's $99. And so I'm gonna show you guys from the ground up how to bind this, how to get it completely ready to put in the air and then fly it. I might fly it for five seconds at the end of the video, but if you wanna see this fly, subscribe and hit the notification bell because Abby, my wife, is gonna do the true maiden flight of this in a very near future video so we can really see how it performs. But I really do have a good feeling about it. So uh, this airplane is what's called bind and fly. And that means you get the airplane and all the electronics in it, but you need a battery, a radio, and a charger to fly it. So if you're new to the hobby, just know going into this right now that 95% or so of the planes on the market are going to be bind and fly or like a kit or something. Most airplanes are not ready to fly. They don't come with a radio because you have to pay extra money for that radio and we don't wanna pay extra money every time we buy a new airplane. Once the bug gets you, the RC plane flying bug, nobody just has one, you get more. And so you, once you get your first ready to fly, you usually start getting into bind and fly. And that's where you save money. That's why this airplane is $99. You buy your radio once, you buy your battery once, and then you find more airplanes that use the same batteries and you can save money in the long run that way. So when you get this airplane though, the good news is there's very little building that needs to be done. Most UMX airplanes come in one piece when you open it, but because this one is actually so big, it comes in two pieces. So the first thing to do is to take it out of the box and put it together. This may be a jump cut, but it's really important. If this video means anything to you at all, please smash the like button. Also, if you're considering buying this airplane or anything on Horizon Hobby's website, consider using our links to buy something now or over the next few days because it will help support our channel and our family. And let's face it, we all know that an educational tutorial video like this that is extremely specific is not going to go viral, but I'm hoping that this video does help some of you. Pull your foam pieces back and it comes out in two pieces. Here's the fuselage, the entire part of the airplane. The prop is supposed to fold because it's a nice glider. Super cool. Nothing opens on here. It actually has the battery little slot on the bottom. That's where your 1S battery is gonna go. The main wing is very cool. It's just one piece. Just slide the wing in through the little slot on the fuselage. Be careful not to snap it. It's pretty durable foam, but I think it's best if you pull the foam through a little bit at a time and just kind of wiggle it. Get the center lined up. You should be able to see those holes that were in the wing line up to these holes, and then we're gonna put two little screws in there to hold it in place. So it comes with three screws, you need two. Lucky lucky for us, uh, you've got an extra one. And now our plane is together, it was that easy. Included is this little piece of Velcro, it's a cloth piece. Now my batteries, I've got the rougher stuff on my 1S batteries, and the cloth part is in the airplane. I think that's the, the way UMX does a lot of their planes, but you do whatever works for you. Now. 
where this is gonna go is actually gonna cover up those screw holes. So if you'd like to be able to remove your wing after every flight, don't do this. But because this is a smaller airplane, I am just going to keep my wing on. So then your Velcro will just, uh, it's recommended a 150 milliamp 1S battery, and this is a $6 battery. So I'm gonna link that down there for you guys. I highly recommend you pick up at least two or three. It really is that easy. Now our airplane is completely built. We have a charged battery. And next step is gonna to be to bind it to a radio. Now this is an extremely nice hobby grade radio that will fly pretty much everything out there on the market. This is one of the newest radios out, the Spectrum NX6. They have an eight channel version and a 10 channel version. I have the eight channel as well, but the six will more than get this job done and it'll fly about 99% of the things that I own. So I highly recommend this battery. Know that it's a little bit expensive, but it's a good investment up front. I'll have a link in the description box below, and I'm gonna show you guys how to bind the brand new UMX Radian with this radio in this video. But I'm also gonna show you guys how to bind on a much cheaper radio, and that's really awesome. This is the radio that came with my Sport Cub S2, which is ready to fly. So if you have gotten into the UMX ready to fly planes, uh, then you might have this radio. I'm sure a lot of you out there do. And instead of buying another ready to fly airplane, you can buy this airplane for 99 bucks, which uses the same battery that the Sport Cub S2 flies on, and you can bind your plane very quickly up to this radio, actually easier than the hobby grade radio. And I'll show you how to do that in this video too. The first step to binding this is to turn the radio on, but we're gonna do it in kind of a special way. There's a little scroll bar over here on the side, but also functions as a button, a clickable button. So you click and hold that button and you power on the radio and it's gonna bring up a special menu where you can select your model because this radio can fly a ton of airplanes. So you can switch between them very quickly and easily. When you do that, also make sure your throttle's down completely and all your switches are up or back. We just scroll down to model select and there's a few different ways you can do this, but I'm gonna to go to add new model. Now there is an easier way to do a bind and fly if the model is available, and it probably is on this one. But this is how I do all my airplanes, and I'm gonna just show you guys how I do it. There are other ways you can do this, but my way does work, so we'll do the RC Sailor Ray. Add new uh, model. You can change the model type, but we're gonna keep it on airplane, even though that doesn't look like a glider, and we're gonna hit create. Then, the next thing I do is model name. This will take a second, but you just select the first spot, and I'm gonna call this UMX Radian. So I'm just gonna scroll through my alphabet. U, go over, UMX Radian. I also want you guys to know that this is applicable to all UMX airplanes, not just this glider. So the same way I'm doing this, you can do with all UMX airplanes. Once I have the name in, I just press back and back again. Now we're back on this screen and I'm sitting at, it says UMX Radian. I've changed nothing in here. Yours should look about like this with a five minute timer set up. When you throttle up, that timer will start counting down. It's just a nice way to keep track of your flight time if you want to. The next step is to bind this to our airplane. I'm gonna mm -hmm. turn my radio off. This is surprisingly very easy, you guys. Pick up the airplane. Steer clear of that prop, it's not gonna hurt you though. There's a nice little dot on their batteries and it lines up with the dot on this plug so you can't get that wrong. We're gonna plug in, put it on the Velcro, set it on level ground, it's waiting to bind up. Now I hold this bind button on the top of my radio and I power on, let go of the power. I'm still holding it, but you could probably release by now and Said complete, so I let it go. And that's ready. The airplane is ready. We can give it a test with the right stick. Pull back on the right stick. There's our elevator and there's our rudder. Now I'm not gonna do a throttle test because I don't want my prop to hit. <laughs> if we pick it up, a little throttle test. And when you kick that throttle on, now we have AS3X working. And let's see where it's safe. It's probably back here. There we go, safe is on, on this back left switch. 
I just had to play around. It's on by default, so the back left switch, or A, on the radio, safe is on. If you hit the airplane and you see that the rudder is pushing over to try to level it back out, whichever way it's tipping, so that's really cool. And then if we throw the switch up, the rudder should snap to center, or roughly so. So now the UMX Radian is completely bound up on the NX6 radio. Now we're gonna bind to this little radio, and I wanna remind you guys, if you made it this far in the video, please like this video. Nothing like this is gonna go viral. I'm doing this to help people get in the air, and to the maybe 100 people that this helps, I hope it really was beneficial. If you're watching just to watch, and you wanna support our channel, smash the like button, because like I said, nothing about this video is gonna be viral material. Only a few specific people are gonna love it. So the beautiful thing about this radio is the binding instructions are boom, right on the back. So if you forget, you've got that as a nice reference. But we're gonna to refer to that and bind this little airplane up. First, just like the big radio, we're going to plug in the battery. We're gonna let it sit for five seconds so the light will flash the way it's supposed to. Then when we turn this on, we're supposed to click the throttle stick down like a button. You can hear it click and hold it while we turn it on and then throttle down. We'll release and throttle down. Throttle up and then back down to bind. Now we're bound up, switching from one radio to the other, and we have throttle. That's beautiful, absolutely awesome. You can go expensive or cheap, depending on which way you wanna go with the hobby. If you like your ultra light little park flyers and you just wanna stay on the budget end of things, you can go with this radio and thoroughly enjoy this airplane. But if you wanna venture into more expensive hobby grade airplanes that require more channels and more things and you wanna own 30 airplanes one day, then you might wanna consider buying this radio. Hopefully, this video was of some help to you guys. I know that this isn't me out here flying a 120 mile an hour jet or anything super awesome, or comparing balsa to foam and the pros and cons and asking the world what's better, but I think this is a really good video that will help people get in the air. So if it meant something to you- Mickey Mouse is happy about it. I know, I thought, well, this is kind of an educational, happy little tutorial video. Um, I intentionally put this shirt on today, <laughs> believe it or not. Uh, so there you have it, the oh E-Flight UMX Radian, which is really awesome, now with safe, super easy to fly, and in a future video, Abby is gonna do that, show us how to fly. Big thanks to the big guy upstairs for giving us this awesome hobby. If you enjoy this hobby, then I think you know what I'm talking about. I mean, it just brings so much peace and tranquility to our lives. It allows me to focus on something and keep my hands and my mind busy and turn my brain off from the rest of the world. And hopefully, bits and pieces of our channel are able to do that for you guys too. So for all of that, I thank God. I also thank our Patreon supporters for allowing us to be so absolutely transparent with you guys. You fund our channel and are the backbone to what we do, which means we can get in front of the camera and tell you things that we like and dislike, and we can take the time to bring a slightly educational video like this to you, because let's face it, this video is not going to uh, get a lot of views, so if it meant something to you, you gained anything from this, please consider, if you're going to buy this airplane, use our links in our description box below because it does help support our channel and our family. And also, if you're not a Patreon supporter, consider signing up, especially if this video helped you at all. Even if it's just for a month or two, it means a lot to us. We'll have a very cool UMX other airplane video popping up right about now. Thanks for watching. We'll see you there. Bye.